Good morning. Jesus. It is now Saturday. The jerseys are here. You're probably wondering why I just did that. Um, the second that I step into any hotel room, and I don't know if I've said this before, but the second that I step into any hotel room, it becomes my place. Nobody enters. This is my spot, right? So I don't need anybody cleaning after me. I can clean up after myself. Uh, it saves the maids a little bit more time to go do something else for someone more messy and dirtier. Uh, we got the jerseys. Got the notification. Got the notification uh, saying that uh, the jerseys are here. So I'm going to go get them right now and we'll be right back. This is a problem already. There's not enough jerseys in here for the amount that I paid for these jerseys. Short sleeve, I mean, they're dope though. They are sick. This is my problem right now, okay? And, and it's not, uh, we need these, okay? We have the white ones, but we need these, fine, whatever. The thing is, though, that I ordered I have not received a single black one for Call of Duty, and that's a problem because I paid for it. Now look how pretty that looks. That's awesome. Uh, there's the rest of them. Now this is my, my gaming slash setup, my workstation slash game. Uh, so today I woke up and, uh, and I finished editing. I didn't have to edit anything, so I was playing a little Minecraft while watching Dual Survival, Survival Island, Dual Survival. I love that. Uh, here's my charge station. This has like four ports plugged into one. Everything goes back there, hooks into this one. Uh, my CF card reader for this bad boy, camera, this. I'm recording this with my iPhone. This iPhone is my old one. My number got out, so I pretty much just ended up just keeping um, the phone. Got a new line, and what I use this for now is the, the hotspot so I don't have to worry about shitty hotel internet, mouse pad, and yeah, there's, there it is. So here's my, my ultimate gaming setup. Hi, Princesita. Hi. I can't see you. All right, ready to go. Um, it's 125, it's 125, the boys play at 2.30, so we gotta get there. Will's downstairs waiting for me, I hope. He said he was gonna wait for me. Uh, hopefully he's still there, let's get it. All right, so I called an Uber, and this is by far the dopest Uber I've ever been in, with one of the coolest, semi-most handsome Uber drivers. Welcome to Ohio, Mr. Rodriguez. How, how, long, you? how long have you been doing Uber for, man? Uh, this is actually my first trip. I'm a, little, I'm a little nervous taking you around. Never drove through these parts either. Just moved here. Um, hopefully you like it. Will you leave me five stars? Yeah, are you, are you, it depends. Are you going to leave me five stars? Uh, is that something you I need? wanted to ride in the back. I don't know why you were so fucking weird about me riding in the front. I could throw you in the trunk if you'd like, but the back is a little, back is a little cramped. Yeah, I mean, I could have moved the seat up. Anyway, we're going to be there in a little bit. Uh, if you guys don't see me, you know what the Uber driver looks like that kidnapped me. Nobody's truck. even there. We were there all, not all day yesterday. We were there for a good, like, three or four hours. You went whenever we did, right? Yeah. And I think I met, like, two people maybe. Where is the Halo support at? Where are the Ohio peeps? I saw a green wall sign when we were playing. I saw a lot of green, uh, a, a lot of, like, fans for Optic there. Did they come up to you? Yeah. Really? And uh, one dude, I, I did see, yo, know, it's so cool to see, like, how big of a legend wall she is. Yeah. There was some dude with like a like a, a final boss tattoo, an MLG tattoo. Uh, some dude brought like a like a shirt, like a Walshie shirt from fucking like ten years ago. Hitch was telling me you and him were sitting there talking to Walshie and like eight or nine fans came up and just ignored you guys and went straight to the <laughs> wall. This is oh, yeah. Halo, man. Like, yeah, no, they were I was I, I'm I, and I was happy. I told Hitch, I'm like, it's so cool to see that you're gonna get you right right on the right. I mean it's so cool to see like 
how big of an impact Wall she had like on all these lives way back when. Oh, he was huge. Yeah. Mind, I remember watching the, uh, it was like a documentary of him. It like went to... Canero, Canero. Yeah, that's what it yeah. was. It yeah. showed his house in Grand Rapids, all yeah. that. I was a huge fan, bro. I've been fanboying in the pro lounge. It's great. Yeah. I'm loving this event. Yeah, I, I mean, I met Wash before, so it was like, it was kind of cool. I, I, I do remember one time uh, when we were doing that whole Eon thing, like uh, Hasra and I, we we sponsored or we were like yeah we were spot we were managing instinct yeah and uh, and I got a chance to hang out with flame sword and I was fucking geeking and I was like I'm like oh I heard this dude is fucking bad as fuck or some shit I don't even remember because I was in so I was like naive to the scene yeah you know little did I know that you know a couple years later the dude would be like one of my closest friends and a fucking roommate at the house just fucking Mike dude yeah he see he used to be a lot smarter when I didn't know him though. <laughs> <laughs> His personality really shines through. Now. Yeah. <laughs> One of the best things about going to the MLG events is that there's always like really good food trucks outside. Today is no different. Hey, hey dude. All right, we're settling a thing. You're saying that they, that that means that how do you say that? I've heard people pronounce it gyro. Like gyro sandwich. Yeah. And then for you, but you just say y gyro. I say it's gyro. Gyro. Where is this? No, it is. It's just that it's um, it's uh, it's it's Greek. But that's how they say it in Greece. Really into that BB bop. That's like the second day in a row you're smacking on this. Well, I figure this is probably like the last time I'll ever have it. So, wait, what are you saying? You're never coming back down to O H? When's the last time I was here? Three years ago? Four? We just beat the team that we needed to beat. So what do you gotta do next? Next you gotta... I think for us to make it to the world, we have that 3-0 allegiance. Which, uh, you can do it. If anyone can do it, you can do it. I have faith. I pull miracles out. Yeah, you would never let me down. Never. I was sitting backstage after that tough, tough loss. I just know that if they would have won, they would have had a little bit more of a chance to get to know each other better in game and extend the lead and extend the opportunity to practice more. Right, I'm going to take the boys for a nice dinner. We'll see you there. All right, let's go to Texas Day. Texas Day, everyone. So we just got back from the event. We lost to Alliance. Um, it was disappointing. It not, I mean, like, it, it's, it's tough for them, but... Like I hate seeing them like be. I hate seeing them sad. Um, it's just one of those one of those things. It wasn't it wasn't in the cards for us. And uh, you know there was there was a lot of changes that were done throughout the course of the season. There was a lot of changes that that happened. People coming, people going, people leaving. Um, and ultimately, it left us with a with a last minute team. And, and Chaser and Lifestyle did an amazing job uh, helping us qualify to regionals. But now that you know regionals has happened, now that, that it's all said and done, I don't know. I'm gonna sit down with the boys and, and see what they want to do. It, it's it's tough for me. It's tough for me to 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 not follow my own way of thinking and just go take an easy way route and just acquiring a team. Either way, like nothing's gonna be able to be done until after the the championships. Um, and it's a disappointing thing for me because I really wanted him to make them, man. I, 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 it, it's not even about the money at this point for them. I think, uh, well, maybe, I mean, I can't speak for all of them, but I know for Nick and, and Mike, it's not even about the money because, you know, they're, they're doing okay, uh, you know, luckily. Um, it's, it's a little bit more about the pride of, of you know, I, letting you guys down in a sense. And, and I told them, I'm like, dudes, we've, we're not undefeated as a team. Like, we've lost before, like, we've been here before. But again, it's one of those things where you you, you you do have to take it into consideration. You have to take it into consideration the fact that you might have to do some tough decisions, right? But but what is that? What decisions are those? Like what 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 is that? Like what is the decision that, that we have to that, that, that we have to make? Because no matter what, like if you're a competitor, no matter what, no matter what happens, you're always gonna want to compete, whether the whether you have it or you don't. You're always gonna want to compete, and it's just very unfortunate. It's just something that that, that that you wish you can. You know how when you, I mean, if you're a parent, you know this, uh, and if you're if you're not, then you're a kid, and 
and just know that your parents go through this, right? Like when 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 Olivia's sick, I want nothing more but to like take their sadness or their sickness, so I can be sick. Because I know because I know what it's like to be sick, and I know that it's temporary, and I know that my mind will, but my body and mind will clear itself of the of the flu or whatever sickness it is that I have. And it's the same thing with uh, with losing. You know, when you're a competitor and you you don't like losing. You don't hold on to those memories. You don't hold on to that feeling. You move on, uh, and and the quicker you you get on with it, the better. Yeah, it's gonna sting a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna be something that's gonna be in the back of your head. Like when you wake up, that's the first thing you're gonna think about. Um, and it's okay, right? It's okay owning the loss, right? It's okay owning the feeling of the of hatred, of 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 disappointment, of sadness. It's okay to hold on to it as long as it doesn't interfere with a. Uh, with the rest of your day, with the job that needs to be done. So right now, I'm, I'm just gonna wait for the guys to get ready. I think that Flame Sword and, and uh, Maniac are gonna take a shower. Uh, Hitch went to his room, and then we're gonna head out to dinner. Um, I'm gonna buy them dinner. You know, as a as a consolation prize. Uh, I know they're they're not happy about uh, their 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 position. Now they get to sit on the sidelines yet again. I know how much they were like bitchy for a whole week because they weren't at X Games. I hate having these conversations because I. I like, I know that it's gonna be better. I know that it'll get better. But I don't know how to make them understand that, you know, this is temporary and, and, and the things that are supposed to happen will happen. Um, all right, I'm gonna charge my phone, get on the way. Well, the beer for a loser's dinner. Come on, man. I'm a loser no, too. It's my, you guys are my team. Therefore, therefore, I'm a loser too. We're holding L's tonight, boys. I don't know, what do you call this dinner? There's Will. He's going back to the place. Uh, I just I just left and I decided to I decided to buy the boys uh, dinner and a couple of drinks. You know, I, it's easier to celebrate right when you win because everybody's in, in, in good mood. Uh, but when you turn that mood around, right? When you turn that mood around by celebrating just company and saying, you know what, it's going to be better, and try to bring them up from their slump that's a good celebration because at that point you're not celebrating anything besides you know being together and having a good friendship um i'm gonna see if i i'm gonna try to convince will to to drive me home tomorrow but if not i'm just gonna change my flight uh to leave tomorrow and or today as you're watching this uh, simply because you know there's nothing else to do here uh but we'll see the thing is that i, I also want to get home on sunday or today so i can spend all day monday or tomorrow with uh, with Jude and Liv because I go to New York for two days and I don't know there's just too much time away from family uh, but yeah that's gonna be that if you guys enjoy the video please remember not leave without leaving a like until next time as always this has been the next I'm out. Huh? Go. <laughs>